Cyan meth hemoglobin method is a hematological test used for hemoglobin determination. The International Committee for Standardization in Hematology and the National Committee for Clinical Laboratory Standards recommend this method for hemoglobin determination. This method is also known as hemoglobin cyanide method. The materials, reagents, and equipment are Dragkin's reagent, a cyan meth hemoglobin reagent which is available commercially as modified Dragkin's solution. Serological or micropipettes measuring 20 and 1000 microliters. Test tubes and a spectrophotometer. The specimen that may be used are EDTA anticoagulated blood or capillary blood. The principle of the test is when blood is diluted in an alkaline Dravkin solution with potassium ferricyanide, potassium cyanide, sodium bicarbonate, and a surfactant, the hemoglobin is oxidized to meth hemoglobin by potassium ferricyanide. The potassium cyanide then converts the meth hemoglobin into cyan meth hemoglobin, which is a very stable substance and is then measured. The absorbance of the cyan meth hemoglobin at 540 nanometers is directly proportional to the hemoglobin concentration. The procedure is pipette 5 ml of Drabkin's reagent into two test tubes, one for a blank and the second tube for the specimen to be tested. Add 20 microliters of blood to the Drabkin's reagent in the second tube for testing. Rinse the pipette three to five times with the Drabkin's reagent or until all blood has been removed from the pipette and mix well. Allow the solution to stand at room temperature for at least 10 minutes to allow full conversion of hemoglobin to cyan meth hemoglobin. With the blood and reagent added together, potassium ferricyanide in the reagent converts hemoglobin to meth hemoglobin. Meth hemoglobin is an oxidized hemoglobin, also called as hemoglobin. Potassium cyanide then converts meth hemoglobin to cyan meth hemoglobin. This is a hemoglobin complexed with cyanide, therefore also known as hemoglobin cyanide. After 10 minutes, read in the spectral photometer. First, read the blank tube at 540 nanometers and adjust the absorbance to zero or the transmittance to 100%. Then, read the second tube with the patient sample. Read the absorbance and record the reading of the tube. Compute for the hemoglobin level by following the formula. Concentration of unknown or specimen is calculated by dividing the absorbance of the unknown over the absorbance of the standard and then multiplied by the concentration of the standard. The concentration of the standard may be seen with the standard kit. The cyan meth hemoglobin standard is the only commercially available standard used in routine hematology. All other products for quality control maintenance are known as controls. These are the different sources of error for the procedure. Drabkin's reagent. It should be clear and pale yellow. Discard if it is turbid or darker. The pH should be maintained at 7.0 to 7.4. This reagent is sensitive to light. It should be stored in an amber bottle or brown borosilicate glass or in a dark place as it becomes unstable when exposed to light. It should also be stored at room temperature. If the room temperature is higher than 30 degrees, then it may be stored in a refrigerator. Make sure to bring the reagent to room temperature before using it in a procedure. Drabkin's reagent contains cyanide, making it highly toxic and must be used cautiously. Samples and spent reagents should be discarded into running water in a sink, followed by flushing with water. Different conditions that may affect the cyan meth hemoglobin method are a high white blood cell count or platelet count. These can cause turbidity and may falsely increase the results. In this case, the reagent sample solution should be centrifuged and the supernatant be measured. Lipemia may also cause turbidity and a falsely high result. It can be corrected by adding 0.01 ml of patient's plasma to 5 ml of cyan meth hemoglobin reagent 
and using this as a blank. Cells containing hemoglobin S and hemoglobin C may be resistant to hemolysis, causing turbidity. This can be corrected by making a 1 is to 2 dilution with distilled water and multiplying the results by 2. Abnormal globulins, such as those found in plasma cell myeloma and Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, may precipitate in the reagent. If this occurs, add 0.1 grams of potassium carbonate to the cyanmeth hemoglobin reagent. And lastly, carboxyhemoglobin takes one hour to convert into cyanmeth hemoglobin, and this may cause erroneous results from heavy smokers. And that concludes the cyanmeth hemoglobin method for hemoglobin determination.